Matthew here with another great, exciting new feature from Adobe Photoshop. For real estate photographers like myself, you know it's not always perfect to get the perfect skies. And sometimes when we get out there, we don't have that choice but to do a sky replacement. And it can be a tedious job and sometimes very difficult if you have a lot of trees and bush and stuff that you have to kind of mask out. Well, there's a new feature on Adobe Photoshop 2020 that you guys are just gonna absolutely love. Let's get right into it and talk about how this is going to improve your workflow. All right guys, so as you can see here, this is a typical real estate kind of shoot, it's cloudy days, a lot of trees in here. So this is gonna be a really good test to see how this new sky replacement on Photoshop works. So we're gonna go right in and update the Photoshop, which we've already done. And then what you're gonna wanna do is click on edit. And as you scroll down, you see here sky replacement. You click on that. And the first thing that's gonna come up at the top is the choices of your skies, what you wanna do. So you're gonna click on the little arrow key that's there right beside the sky, and you're gonna to wanna to go to maybe blue skies because it's a day shot. And you know, go through, figure out which one that you wanna use. So I'm just gonna pick on this particular sky. And you can see that instantly, it already brought it right in. And look at the job it did around the trees. It's, I mean, a fantastic job. Now, if you look over to the features of what you can do, there's a shift edge enhance, so I can make that less or more, and if you see that around the trees, you actually kind of see a little bit more, less details happening. Whereas if I turn it to the right, and I'm at 35 right now, the details around the tree look so much better. And then if you go down to brightness, you can make the brightness of the sky either darker or brighter by changing that. And you can also change the color temperature of the sky. Also have a scale option. Now the scale option usually just means if you want to you know, zoom in on something, maybe the clouds are going to be a little bit bigger or more broken up depending on how you do it. And then the other cool feature is right down here at the bottom where it says flip. Now, if you wanna flip it, all you're basically doing is flipping the image around and the clouds just look like they're coming in a different direction. So we're gonna go ahead and press okay. And if you notice here at the bottom, it says output two, and then you have new layers. And the reason why we wanna keep that is because when you click okay, you're gonna see on the right hand side here, all the layers on the bottom are there that you can actually go in and individually, if I wanna shut off the sky, I can do that and it's gonna go right back to the original sky so I can see what the difference is. So that's a really cool example. And if we zoom in again, just to kind of look at the details around these trees, it did a really good job. All right, so let's get into what it would look like if we had a twilight. Now, obviously with a twilight, you're gonna have different types of skies that you're gonna to wanna to bring in. So we're gonna go into edit, sky replacement, and then it's going to leave the last option that you had there. You're just going to click on the arrow. You can see here there's some really nice skies. Now, you can also put in your own skies. If you have a sky folder that you're already using with skies that you've shot or skies that you've imported or purchased, you can also create and put your own folder in here so that you can access them. What I really like about this is that it's very convenient and easy to find. You don't have to get out of the program, look on your desktop or finder window and then bring it back in. So I really like how they've integrated this all together. So Photoshop did a really good job of making this user-friendly, fast and convenient, which is what we all need as real estate photographers. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick, uh, let's say this really dynamic purple sky here. Now take a really close look on the left-hand side here where the bushes are, the trees, on the pine trees. You can see it's almost like a fringing look around each and every um, bush there as you can take a look at it, where if I flip it over to the right, you can see it kind of gets darker. So it makes that detail a lot more perfect. All right, so now we're gonna try a new photo with a lot of trees and a half decent sky that's already in there. It has a little bit of blue into it, but we wanna see how well this new sky replacement does on this image. So let's open up sky replacement. And yeah, you can see it actually, I'm gonna, well, let's do something a little bit darker. Wow, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed here, guys. Take a look. Again, let's adjust the brightness and we'll make it a little bit brighter. I'm just gonna press okay because this is pretty much done. I mean, that literally took me, what, five seconds? I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here. I'm blown away at how well this replaced that sky so fast. All right, so there's no more need for you to outsource your editing for outside skies. This is something that you can do really quick and easy and you can do it to all your images. With this new software, you can literally do five or six pictures in probably two minutes. So Photoshop did an awesome job with this upgrade. I love the sky replacement. 
So I wanted to bring this to your attention because this feature will really save you a lot of time. And as you know, right now we're really busy and trying to get all this stuff out there quick and not spending late nights is something that we all savor and love. So I hope you enjoyed that little quick tip and tutorial on sky replacements with the new Photoshop 2020. Thumbs up, I definitely think you should uh, definitely upgrade to a phone more. All right guys, take care, have all the best. And if you have any questions, feel free to always leave the comments down below. Take care. So if you like that video and you wanna see more, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook.